Hmm, fascinating. Sea stars and snails and red rock crabs. Red rock crabs don't live in this part of the ocean. It's too cold for them. I wonder how they got here. Hello, I'm Shellington. I'm an octopus. Stay back. <gasps> oh. Oh, impressive. I knew red rock crabs were quick, but I didn't realise they were that quick. There's no need to be frightened. I just want to... This way, Chucks. I'm here to help. You'll never catch us. Hey. Yeah. Through his legs, Chucks. <laughs> Just can't stand this place. It's cold. There's nothing to eat. And now some big furry things chasing after us. Captain, come in, Captain. Shellington, how are you getting on exploring that island? Well, Captain, there's a bit of a mystery. I found some red rock crabs, but they don't belong here. This island is much too cold for them, and there's not enough food. They won't last long here. I'm going to need help rounding them up and taking them back where they belong. Understood. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, We've got a problem with some red rock crabs on an island where they don't belong. I don't know how they got here. But we need to take them back to their home in the Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos are a long way from here. Can we just load them into the garbs? No, that's the tricky part. They're very hard to catch. Every time I try to get close, they run away. Shellington, we're on our way. <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's take this nice and easy. These crabs are a long way from home, and they're probably a bit scared. Hey, up. It's another of those furry things. Don't worry, little crabs. It's time to come with me. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> nice and easy. <sighs> Hello. I'm Peso, and I'm <coughs> soaking wet. I, I forgot to tell you, Peso. They squirt water when they feel threatened. Leave us alone. Oh! I'll get my brother onto you. Oh, I get away. Oh. Captain, we've been trying to catch the crabs all evening, and we haven't caught a single one. Aye, these little mateys are quicker than I thought. It's getting dark. We'll have to try again tomorrow with the whole crew. Good morning, Octonauts. Everyone ready for a bit of crab catching? Aye, aye, yes, Captain. We'll round them up faster and you can see a bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Remember, these crabs are extra fast, so we'll need to be quick. Got it? Got, Got it. it. This could take a while, so if you need a break, Tunip and the Vegemals have set up a seaweed snack station. Super, super! Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Sounds like Tunip. Tunip, is everything all right? Shiver me whiskers. It's the marine iguanas. Octonauts. <laughs> Funny running into you here. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> Biggie, Ted, Sneezy, aren't you a little far from home? Ooh, not a little, a long way from home. First, red rock crabs, and now marine iguanas. How did all these creatures from the Galapagos end up here? Go on, tell him, Iggy. Shush, I was just about to. It all started with a wild storm. The winds were so strong, they swept us right out to sea. 
luckily for us, we was able to grab onto a clump of floating kelp. We used this kelp as a life raft. And a snack. We drifted for days and our kelp raft was getting smaller. Well, I was hungry. <laughs> Till eventually, we was washed up here onto this little island. Ah, and so the red rock crabs must have been carried here on kelp rafts too. That's incredible. No, it's terrible. The water here's too cold for us to die for seaweed to eat. That's why we've been uh, borrowing your little snacks. Don't worry, iguanas. We'll take you and the crabs back home. Just as soon as we can round them up. <laughs> you never catch red rock crabs like that. <sighs> I think you're right. If only we had something to distract them so we could sneak up on them. Captain, I think I know just the thing. Now what do we do? Just pretend you're sunbathing. Oh, <laughs> Shh! Here they come. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Three iguanas ready for cleaning. Hey, Chuck, so hungry. Red rock crabs love to climb on marine iguanas and eat the gunk off their backs. That way, both of them benefit. One gets fed, the other one gets cleaned. I believe that's what's called symbiosis. <laughs> yes, that's right. Watch. <laughs> oh, they're kind of tickles. All right, everyone, now that they're distracted... <laughs> It's those furry guys again. Octonauts, stay in formation. Run for your lives! <laughs> hey! This way, Chucks! <laughs> After them! Stop right there! <laughs> oh, no! Phew, they'll see. Well... What are we waiting for? No, Quasi. It's too dangerous. Not for a marine iguana. Our claws give us special grip. Watch. If only we had claws like that. Let me see those claws again. Knock yourself out. Mm. You know what, Peso? I think I might be able to make a song. Tweak, these are a great invention. Thanks, Cap. I call them climbing claws. Everyone stay close and follow me. We need to herd the crabs up to the top of the cliff. We're ready for them, Captain. They'll be safe in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's working, Captain. Just a little further. Steady. Keep moving forward, Octonauts. Things doing to my friends. Don't worry, we just want to take you back to your home. Take us back home? Well, why didn't you say so? Uh, why'd you hitch your ride? Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, good. Ah, two! Oh, oh no! Help! Octonauts, form a chain. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Let's bring them in. Good work, everyone. Thanks for helping us, Chuck. We was just a bit scared before, being so far from home. No problem. But we couldn't have done it without the iguanas. Oh, don't mention it. Now, what do you say we go home? I say, let's go, Chucks. Octonaut to the Galapagos. Here we are, the Galapagos Islands. Hey, everybody, we're home. And just in time, too. I could really do with a snack. Me too. Come on. <laughs> Nice, 
I'll throw up. Oh, no thanks, Turnip. It's almost lunchtime. <laughs> Guys, the captain. Octonauts, we've just spotted a beautiful beach. Now, we've all been working hard. So how about we take the afternoon off and have a picnic? All right. Sounds great. Delightful. We'll find a good spot, mateys. And then you can join us on the beach. Octonauts, prepare for a picnic. Captain, I think Tunip just said that the Vegemals will make your favourite dessert, vanilla kelp pudding. Thanks, Tunip. Be sure to make plenty for everyone, because you can never have too much pudding. Barnacles out. <sighs> Fresh air, sunshine and sand. Ah, can't wait to kick off me boots and dig me paws in the sand. It's so quiet and peaceful and... Ah, 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 oh, ah, ah, ah. Are you hurt? Ah. Don't be afraid, little crab. What's wrong? It's my leg. It really hurts. I'm Peso. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Let me take a look. Uh, right here. Hmm. You need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, thanks. That's much better. How did you hurt your leg? I fell off a rock when I was running away from... The blob. <gasps> What's the blob? It's a thing that grows bigger and bigger and bigger. How big does it get? So big that it pushed me right off the rock where I live. If you don't get out of the way, it stings you. I got away, but my crab friends are still there, trapped in a hole in the rock. I have to go back and save them from the blob. You won't have to do it alone. We'll help you. Aye, matey. We're not afraid of the blob. Oh, wow. First you fixed my leg, and, and now you're going to help me and my friends. Who, who are you guys? We are the Octonauts. Barnacles to Dashy. Dashy here, Captain. I'm afraid it's not picnic time just yet. We need to take care of an emergency on the beach first. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be at HQ if you need us. Don't worry, Tunip. You can still make pudding. Almost to the rock where my friends are trapped. <gasps> there it is. The blob. That's the blob, me hearty. It's a puny little thing. Yeah, but one blob can become two blobs. And two blobs can become four blobs. <laughs> How it gets so big. Look! Flappity flippers. That's where my friends are trapped. Barnacles to Shellington. Shellington here, Captain. Have you ever heard of creatures that can split in two and make copies of themselves? Why, yes, Captain. Those are aggregate anemones. Aggravating enemies? No, no, no. Aggregate anemones. They can make lots and lots of copies of themselves. And when two groups of these anemones meet, they fight over space. They have special stingers for attacking each other. No! Oh. No! Oh. No! Oh. No! Oh. Uh-oh! It's hit the Octo Alert! Are you all right?
right? Captain, we were just attacked by... Oh, no. The radio's broken. Mm. Vanilla kelp pudding. Mm. Delicious. We've lost contact with the octopod. Ah! I bet these anemones are trying to take over the octopod just like they took over this rock. Hmm. Dashi said they were under attack. We need to get back there right away. Uh, don't leave me here alone. We won't. Peso, stay here with our crab friend, but don't move. Quasi and I will be back as soon as we can. Yes, Captain. Quasi, let's go. Into the gum. Don't worry. We'll help your friends just as soon as the Captain gets back. <laughs> oh, no. They're making more copies of themselves. Oh my, there's a different group of anemones on the other side of the rock. Ooh. They're getting closer. Ah, I don't see anyone in HQ. Just a whole lot of blobs. All right, we're going in. Yeah, it's quiet. Too quiet. I don't like all this quiet. Then why are we whispering? Hm. Oh. Shiver me whisk! Sh sorry, Captain. What? We're having a bit of a, a pudding problem. Pudding? pudding. Mm -hmm. Well, at least it's a tasty problem. Hi, Captain. But we need to get back to the beach to help Peso. Don't worry, Cap. We'll get this pudding problem fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. All right, Tweak. Quasi, into the gob again. Peso, we're on our way. Hold your position. I don't think I have much of a choice, Captain. Ow! They're stinging each other. Ow! 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 That really hurt. Oh yeah, I stung you because you stung me. You stung me first. No, you stung me first. Ow! 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 Got you last. Ow! Good. Got you last. Ow! 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 My friends, they'll get stung. Ow! 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 Stop! Anemones, please. Stop stinging each other. This rock belongs to us, and they've got to go. We've got to go. They've got to go. So you're fighting for a home? We get to stay here because we were here first. We were here first. Actually, this little crab and his friends were here first. Excuse me. Just coming through, Thank you very much. Which means both of you are on their rock. Oh. Oh. Well, we have to live somewhere. What about us? We have to live somewhere, too. Let's work out a way for everyone to share this rock. Why don't you, anemones, move back and stay on this side of the rock, and you, anemones, stay on this side, and both of you keep the middle free for the crabs. And please, no more stinging. We'll, we'll do, do it, it if they, they do, do it. it. We'll, we'll do, do it. it. High five! <laughs> Ouch! Yay! Yay! <laughs> now let me see if I have something to make your stings feel better. Yeah, they really hurt. I bet mine hurt more. No, mine do. I've got a Peso. Yeah, I've got a rest. Are you okay? Everything's fine, Captain. Peso stopped the battle of the blobs. Good work, Peso. But what about the other blobs back at the octopod, Captain? Oh, don't worry, Peso. Hi, they're not the stinging kind. Now, this is a blob of pudding. <laughs> Octonauts, activate spoons. There's plenty for everyone. Dig in. Come on, yeah. dig in. Yeah. Fascinating. Those baby gators must have just hatched. Are you sure we're safe? Alligators can be dangerous, but as long as we keep our distance, they won't bother us. 
Oh, I don't know. They look like big green swamp monsters to me. Oh, they're not monsters, Quasi. Look how tenderly that mother gator cares for her babies. Shiver me whiskers! She's eating one of them! No, that's how a mother gator carries her baby. She's returning it to the nest, safe and sound. Hmm. Well, I still think they might be swamp monsters. <sighs> Come on, it's getting late. Let's head back to the octopod and get some sleep. Aye, aye, Captain. Swamp monster. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. A baby swamp monster. I mean, a, a baby gator. That's me tail. And I'm rather attached to it, if you don't mind. Sorry, mister. It looked like a big fuzzy worm. What in the seven seas are you doing here, little matey? I took a nap in the mouth of that big metal gator thingy. The cup K? I guess. The next thing I knew, I was here. What is this place? This here's the Octopod. And my name's Quasi. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Nipper. You sure are. Oh, what's in here? Careful there. That's me. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh, hell, what's this for? Ow! Slow down, Nipper. I'll get Captain Barnacles. And we're going to take you back to your mum. Oh, can I stay a little while? Please, pretty please. I like it here. Well, the captain is still sleeping. I guess I can tell him when he wakes up. Yippee! Whoa, this looks tasty. You must be hungry. Let's go and get you some breakfast. Let's see. We've got kelp cakes, kelp kebabs, and a big bag of kelp marshmallows. Nipper, where'd you go? Uh-oh. <laughs> A vast little matey. What do you think you're doing? Sorry, I didn't mean to scare him. I just wanted a drink of water. All right, Nipper. Now I think we'd better go and wake Captain Barnacles. Oh, where does this go? <laughs> Wait, come back! <laughs> Pirate the slip. All right, matey. Enough fun and games. Time to. Hey, what's this do? Gotcha. The open ocean's no place for you, Nipper. I can take care of myself. I'm an alligator. You're a little alligator. And there'd be plenty of big ocean creatures that'd love a tasty gator snack. Did someone say snack? Like that one. Yeah! Whoa! Place for Nipper. Nipper? Who's Nipper? A baby alligator, of course. A baby alligator? Oh, never mind. Just stay put, Quasi. We'll find you. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Quasi and uh, a baby alligator are lost. 
somewhere out in the ocean. A baby what? Alligator. His name's Nipper. But how did you... Be it's a long story, matey. The important thing is that we find them and bring them back. I don't see them on the map. He must be pretty far away. Quasi, do you have any idea where you are? We're somewhere in a big, rocky reef. You're not alone. There are a lot of hungry creatures out here. And they'd all like a piece of Nipper. Hungry predators aren't the only danger. The ocean is made of salt water. And Nipper is used to freshwater swamps without salt. I thought alligators could swim in the ocean. Crocodiles can, but alligators can't. And Nipper is an alligator. They're two different species. Crocodiles can get rid of the salt water they drink. But alligators can't. If alligators stay in salt water too long, they get very, very sick. Oh, he's right. I don't feel so good. Quasi, get Nipper to the surface. You must hold him out of the water. Hi, Captain. Stand by. Whoa! 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 Seagull snack. Seagull snack. I saw him first. Uh, ah, ah. Get back, you feathered lion built rats. Well, I want my mama. The surface is no good either, Captain. We need to get this little gator to fresh water first. How can we get Nipper back to fresh water if we don't even know where they are? Actually, there might be a way to solve both problems at once. According to the map, there are several freshwater springs on the ocean floor nearby. Fresh water in the ocean? Yes. At these springs, fresh water bubbles up from the sea floor and rises to the surface. We don't know where Quasi is, but we do know where the springs are. If we mark each spring by putting coloured tracer dye in the water... Then Quasi could see them from a distance. And then all he has to do is take Nipper to the nearest spring and keep him in the fresh water until we can rescue them. Exactly. And the dye won't hurt any creatures living nearby? No. Nope. These tracer dye tablets are 100% creature safe. Great idea, Professor. Octonauts, to the guts. <laughs> Dropping red. Orange! And yellow! All the tracer dyes are in place. Just look for the bubbles of coloured water. <laughs> it's snack time! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Not a moment too soon! A burst! I see the red one! That's a fresh water spring. Head towards it and we'll pick you up from there. Oh, it's so far. I don't think I can make it. Just hang on a bit longer, matey. I'll get us there. Oh, sharks! Ooh, a wee snack for a big shark. Nothing's gonna stop me. Shiver me whiskers. We've got a real mob on our tail. A real hungry mob. If you want this little nipper, you're gonna have to go through me! That's all the snack time is over. <gasps> they're leaving! But why? Because they're saltwater fish, and the freshwater spring leaves a bad taste in their mouths. Here's something a little tastier for your mouth. Fish biscuits. Yum, yum. <laughs> I think it's time we took you back to your mother. Thank you so much for bringing my dear little nipper back. I was worried sick. Man, you should have seen it. There were scary sharks and eels and seagulls. But Quasi and I, we fought them off together. We sure showed them. Yeah, they were so cool. So, still think they're swamp monsters? Nah, they're all right in my book. Yow! Nipper? <laughs> yeah. Everything's loaded into the dump, Captain. Ready to go down to the bottom of the trench. 
Thanks, Quasi. Tweak, we're heading down to the Octolab with the new wires. Thanks, Cap. I really need him to get the electrical system working again down here. It must be tough to work in the dark. Well, the emergency lights are on. Oops. Sorry. Uh, let's just say it'll be nice to have the regular lights on again, Cap. We're on our way. Tunip, open the Octo hatch. It looks so empty. I meet it. But who knows what's lurking out there in the darkness? What was that? Flashing lights. Could be some kind of warning. Or maybe someone needs help. Quasi, Peso, let's investigate. I don't see anything. No more strange flashing lights. Aye, but it's quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! It's an ambush! Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi and Peso. Well, we're the Bomber Worms. Dino? How you doing? Rich? Lovely to meet you. Amarillo? Howdy! And the newest member of the... Hey, uh, uh, see, where's Jimmy Boy? Well, person to speak, sir. Uh, Jimmy and I kind of crashed into each other. I said, you okay, kid? He said, don't worry about me. Save the captain. And that was the last I saw of him. He must have sunk to the bottom, sir. <sighs> sure gonna miss that kid. What in tarnation? Now look here, son. I've never left a worm behind, and I ain't gonna start now. Well, yes, I feel the same way about my team. Trouble is, we bomber worms spend our whole lives floating around here in the middle of the trench. And we never go all the way down to the seafloor. Got that right. Once Jimmy hits bottom, we might never find him. Who knows what's down there? Don't worry, Dino. We can help you find him. Octonauts, to your stations. Come in, Octolab. Um, Octolab, do you read me? We're still running on emergency power, and it's messing with our radio. Go ahead, Cap. There's a hurt bomber worm named Jimmy, and he's sinking to the bottom of this trench. He could be near you. Oh, no. There's not much food down here, which means there are lots of hungry creatures who'd love to eat him for dinner. Then we'll have to find him before they do. Dashi, Shellington, search the area near the Octolab right away. We're on it, Captain. When we reach the bottom, Quasi, Peso and the Bomber Worms will look for Jimmy as well. Octonauts, Bomber Worms, let's, let's do this. Oh, oh gee. Well, this looks yummy. Oh, oh no. Oh, I don't like bright lights. You're lucky I don't like to move around much either. Phew, that was close. Oh, ouch! Can't swim. Now what do I do? Okay, start your search. I'll drop off Tweak's wires and join you as soon as I can. Yo, Jimmy! Yeah. We're coming! Just have to hope the kid can hear us. He'll send up one of his flares. Assuming he's got any left. What do you mean? We bomber worms each have eight flares. Once he runs out, Jimmy won't be able to signal us or defend himself. Why can't he just grow more flares? It takes time to grow more, and you don't have that kind of time. All right, boys, let's keep moving. Jimmy! Uh, Jimmy, we're on our way. Jimmy, where are you? Barnacles to Dashy and Shellington. Any sign of the missing bomber worm? Not yet, Captain, but we definitely found several creatures who might try to eat him. One Ooh. anglerfish? 
couple of dolpa eels, some giant isopods, and a vampire squid. Keep searching, you two. We need to find Jimmy before any of those creatures do. Jimmy! Where are you, boy? Guys, over here! Jimmy! Where are you, boy? Oh, golly, they're too far away. And I only have two flares left. <laughs> Don't think they saw that one. Better make this one count. Here goes. Look! There! A flare! Food? Food? Oh! Food? I'm gone! I'll be right with you! Come on! Guys, I can't believe you found me. Relax, son. You're doing fine. Ain't that right, Doc? I have to get him back to the Octolab. He needs special treatment, but then he'll be as good as new. You see, you're home free. Not quite, Cap. We got company. Hmm, let's move out. Not yet. I need to attach a splint to hold Jimmy's tail before I can move him. Quasi to Captain Barnacles. The good news is, we found Jimmy. The bad news is, we're surrounded by a pack of hungry creatures. Quasi, you and the bomber worms hold off those creatures. We're on our way. Dweek, prepare the Octomax suits. Come and get me, Gulper Eels! Alright, boys, dive bomb formation! Darkness. Barnacles to tweak. How soon can you turn on the lights? Almost ready, Cap. Excellent. Now wait for my signal. Three, two, one, lights! Swim away! Ah, good work, everyone. All right, Peso. Let's get Jimmy into the oh. Octolab for his treatment. <laughs> as good as you. I feel great, fellas. Thanks for all your help, Captain Barnacles. Glad to help a fellow captain. Well then, looks like it's time for us to head back up where we belong. Plumber worms away! Oh, that was my lunch. Could someone help a blobfish out? Fancy bot? <laughs> Everyone keep a lookout. Captain, it looks like they're heading our way. 
We should be able to see them out of the window any minute now. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, the eels are on the move. They should be here any minute. This only happens one time each year, so we don't want to miss it. <gasps> there they are. Eels. <gasps> lots and lots of them. Let me get a picture. Yeah, they're in a big hurry to get somewhere, but where? They're on their way from the ocean up the river to the lake. It's a dangerous journey. No one knows exactly how they do it. Octonauts, our mission is to follow these eels and find out. Shellington. Thank you, Captain. Every year, a group of young eels travels from the ocean where they were born up the river to this lake where they will live. That looks easy enough. Ah, but there are all kinds of dangers along the way, Quasi. Rocks, rough bumpy water, sudden twists and turns in the river. I'd like to try that trip myself. And that's why you'll be driving the Guppe with me on this mission. Aye, aye, Captain. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the launch bay. Come on, mateys. Those slippery eels have a head start, and we've got to catch up. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You've got it, Cam. We've already made it into the river. We should catch up with the eels in no time, Captain. I hope things don't get too bumpy for us or for them. Yeah. Where be those eels? Ah, there they are. Let's go. No one's ever followed the eels moving up the river this closely before. We're going upstream, and the water keeps pushing us back. Quasi, I'm going to need your help. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Steer with me. One, two, three. <sighs> Thanks, Quasi. Now let's catch up with those slippery little fellas. Eels are swimming fast. Aye, well we can go as fast as they can. We're gaining on them, Captain. Wow, getting past these rocks is no problem for these eels. Amazing. Anywhere they can go, we can go too. Mr. Barnacles, are you all right? We're all right, Dashie. We're just going for a little spin. <laughs> oh, no. I hope they're not hurt. Barnacles to the octopod. We're all OK. But the guppe has, um, well, crashed. But how will you keep going? There's no reason we can't swim after him, Captain. Good idea. Let's go. Barnacles out. Now, where be those eels? There they are. They really are good climbers. Let's find out what's on the other side of those rocks. Jumping jellyfish. The eels are getting out of the water and travelling on land. Let's investigate. Look at them wriggle right over the mud and dirt. That's fascinating. Eels can breathe air for a short time, so they can leave the water and go over land if they have to. Nothing stops them on their way up the river. Nothing. Ugh. Help. Huh? Help. Did somebody say something? Help. Where are you? Down here. Hello there. Are you stuck? 
Yes, and I really need to get out. Hmm. Can you grab onto this, matey? Yes, go on. Hold me up and please hurry. <sighs> did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. <coughs> oh, ow, ouch! Oh, my tail hurts. <laughs> I can't move. Don't worry. Don't worry? My friends are getting farther and farther away, and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's my tail. It hurts so much I can't move. Hmm. You need a bandage. <laughs> that was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now I've really got to get going. You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Got to catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help getting back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Aye, we'll take you all the way to the lake. Oh, thanks. It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye, Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Octonauts, let's do this. That water's too rough to swim over, and those rocks are too high. This will take some teamwork. Think you can get this to the top, Quasi? No problem, Captain. Got it! Grab a hold! Let's go. Okay. We're going through. We're really, really close now. All we have to do is swim through that. We have to swim through that. But we're almost there, I promise. The lake is just on the other side. I really have to get there. We're going in. Follow me. Okay? Just fine. The lake is so calm and beautiful. Hi, and full of squirmy eels. Where were you? We lost you. We were worried. These are my friends. Oh, thanks for getting me here. Well, you young eels certainly work hard to get where you're going. I admire your determination. It's what we do. And when we're old enough, we'll head back down the river to the ocean and have baby eels of our own. And when those babies are old enough, they'll make their journey up the river. Aye, and we'll get to have this adventure all over again. Crashing the duck, going through tunnels, swimming through rapids and over rocks. Right, Peso? If you say so. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Getting close to the Octo Repair Station, Captain. Straight ahead, mateys. Dashie, activate Doctor. 
docking sequence. I'm on it, Captain. Still trying to activate docking sequence, Captain. Oh, no! The octopod just isn't herself these days, eh, Captain? She needs a little holiday, that's all. Activate steering wheel. Whoa. Easy now. Steady to the left. Steady to the right. And down. Docking sequence complete. Captain. Wow, this place is huge. But it looks like there's every tool you'd ever need, Tweak. You betcha. I can't wait to get my paws on that Wonder Welder. Ready to get to work, Tweak? Cap, I'll have the Octopod fixed up faster than you can save a bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Very good. And while the Octopod has been repaired, the rest of us get to relax, mateys. Octonauts, get ready for a holiday. Spyglass, extra eye patches, and me pirate's guide to island hideaways. Just one more book. Uh oh. Sunscreen, check. Camera, check. Surfboard, check. I'm ready to go, Captain. I'm glad you could join me on my trip home to the Arctic. I'm excited to meet your sister and her cubs. And we'll get to help the cubs learn some important Polar Scout skills on their first big Arctic journey. We'll hike across the snowy ground, swim through freezing water, jump onto ice floes until we reach the sea ice. Ooh, what happens there? That's where we polar bears hunt for food after the long winter. Ah, I remember my first journey across the sea ice. Is that little cub you? Yes, that's me. And that's my twin sister, Bianca. This photo was taken on the day we completed our journey and earned our first polar bear scout badges. And now I'll be able to give my niece and nephew their first polar scout badges. Let's go. Tweak, Tunip and Professor Inkling will stay aboard the Octopod. The rest of the crew will be far away from each other, but we can call for help if there's an emergency. Tweak? Press this little button to contact each other, no matter where you are. See you all in a couple of weeks. Bye, everyone. Have fun, mateys. Bye. 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 Well, I guess it's time to say goodbye. See you, Captain. Uh, listen. I may be on holiday, but I'm never off duty. So if you need me, just call. I'll be back here faster than you can say munching, bunching, scrunching. Oh, you know what I mean. Don't worry, Cap. We'll be fine. All right, then. I'll see you and the Octopod in a couple of weeks. Take good care of our ship, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Time blizzard! It's so much easier to keep up a fast pace without overheating, isn't it, Peso? Peso? Right behind you, Captain. Uh, let me help you. Just a little bit further. We're here. But where is your sister's den? I can't see anything but snow. Barnacles! Bianca! Oh, good to see you. Oh, where are the cubs? They're right here. It's their first time out of the den, so they may be a little shy. Whoa, it's bright out here. I'm big. I wonder how big. 
Better find out. Whee! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Orson, Ursa, meet your Uncle Barnacles. Should we call you Uncle Barnacles or Captain Uncle Barnacles? Just Uncle Barnacles. <laughs> Mum says you're strong. I wonder how strong. Strong enough to carry you two on my back. <laughs> oh, and Mum says you're brave. How brave? Brave enough to be an octonaut. And I'd like you all to meet my fellow octonaut, Peso. Hello. We're brave too. And strong. Watch this. <laughs> Reminds me of the way we used to play together when we were cubs. Really? Oh, yes. That's how polar bear cubs develop their polar bear strength. We wrestled all the time, didn't we? And I used to knock you over like a feather. <laughs> That's why I used to call him Feather Paws. You called the captain Featherpaws? Uh, uh, excuse me while I check in on things back on the octopod. Captain Barnacles to Tweak. Hiya, Cap. Now, aren't you supposed to be on vacation? Uh, yes, and I'm having a wonderful time. How's it going there? Couldn't be better. I'm welding new arms for the octopod, and the paint job is looking good. Sounds like you've got everything under control, Tweak. Sure do, Cap. Oh, um... Did I mention that the hot cocoa machine in the HQ is not working? Fix hot cocoa machine. Got it, Cap. Come on, Uncle Barnacle. Let's go. All right, Cubs. You're about to begin a journey that all polar bears have made for as long as any of us can remember. And we're the only bears in the world who make this journey. So, are you ready to go? Ready! and earn your first Polar Scout badges. <gasps> yes! Then let's get started by climbing that. <sighs> now take it slow. Pull with the front paws. Push with the back paws. Pull, push, pull, push. <laughs> Got it! And now, we slide down on our tummies, like this! <laughs> well done, cubs. Now it's time to use my favorite Polar Scout skill. Hup! Swimming! Follow me, cubs. Huh. Whee! <laughs> Use your paws like paddles in the water. Form a line, everyone, and stay close. Ah, there's nothing better than an icy swim. The rest of the crew don't know what they're missing. <laughs> flow soon and take a rest. <gasps> Over there! Hmm, there's a colony of walruses on that ice flow. Walruses are very territorial. They don't like to share their ice flow with anyone. We'll find another ice flow. Come on! <sighs> I'm not afraid of walruses. Are you? No. Come on. <gasps> Hey, this ice flow is walruses only. Who says? We do. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -huh. The cubs. It'll be tough to get to the cubs from the outside of the ice flow, but if we could pop up on the inside. I'll be right back, Captain. <laughs> Excuse me, walruses. Oh, where did that penguin come from? Yeah, penguins don't belong in the Arctic. What's a penguin? 
If you'll just move aside, the cubs and I will be on our way. Uh, not so fast, Penguin. Oh, let him go. You're not the chief around here. I am. Hey, how come I never get to be the chief? Because you're not big. Let's and get out of here. Weather. Oh, yeah. On the count of three, we dive under and make a break for it. One, two, three. Hey? You see? You've let them get away now. No, you let them get away. I never. Yes, you did. We did it! Yay! Thank you, Peso. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. No more swimming off on your own, Cubs. Would you like to ride on my back for a while? Yes, please. How about I take one and you take the other? There's an empty ice floe where we can rest. Oh, finally! I don't know, Barnacles. The ice looks a little thin. Ah, time to learn another Polar Scout skill. Cubs, when the ice is thin, stay on your tummy to keep the ice from breaking. <sighs> That's it. <sighs> uh oh. Ah! <gasps> I'm afraid that wasn't much of a rest. I hope we find some good, thick ice soon, Barnacles. I hate to admit it, but I'm getting really tired. Come on, Cubs. I'll carry both of you for a while. Give your mum a rest. Peso, you can swim faster underwater than we can. Will you swim ahead and look for ice? Right away, Captain. Yeah. Not yet. The solid sea ice is further away than usual this year. Yeah. Captain, I found a big ice flow up ahead. Wonderful. Yes. Good work, Peso. Lead the way. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, perfect! Now, that was a very long swim. How nice to take a rest. Uh, don't get too comfortable. This ice flow is melting. We're two paws lower in the water today. But there's only so much swimming a polar bear can do, eh? I swam here all the way from Canada. It's been tough to find good solid sea ice this year. Tough? Oh, try impossible. Nothing but water between here and Norway. And there's no ice any closer to Greenland. So we've come from all around the Arctic. Norway, Greenland, Canada, and Alaska. Hmm, and none of us have made it to the solid sea ice. Perhaps if we swim just a little further north. Oh, I have come from the north, from Russia. And there is no ice for miles and miles around. This is the only place where I can rest my weary paws. I've got you. Stay close, you two. Everyone needs to stay close together. Form a chain. Paw to paw. The wind is getting stronger. The waves are getting higher. We are in big trouble now. How big? Not so big that we can't handle it. Everyone, move in closer together. Mom, can we swim back home now? No, darling, it's too far. Oh, oh no, the ice is breaking up. Oh, the barnacles. What are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. Octonauts to the Arctic Ocean. We're stranded in stormy water on an ice floe. And the ice floe is breaking apart. No! 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 Captain, we'll be there as fast as we can, no matter what it takes. Yo. 
Octopod ready to go. Well, there wasn't time to finish fixing the steering system, but I think it'll hold long enough to get us to the Arctic. Dashy. Activating launch. Come on, be a good Octopod. Activating launch again. Come on. Come on. Launch activated. Oh, yes. We've got to get to the captain faster than this. Can you boost our speed, Tweak? I'll give it a try. Let's see. If I unhook this. And tie that into this. All right, Quasi. Hit the red button and hold on to your eye patch. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. Uh -huh. ah! Ah! Got you. Oh, thank goodness for your strong paws, Captain. Oh, dear. We are now four paws lower in the water. And sinking. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Looks like you could use a little backup, Captain. Oh, thanks for coming, Octonaut. Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> Leave no bear behind. Octonauts, let's do this. Octopod, we're on our way back. How are things there? Captain, I've located some sea ice, but it's too far away for the polar bears to swim to safely. Then we'll just have to take them there in the octopod. You got it, Cap. All the polar bears are on board, down in launch, but having some hot cocoa. Oh, it's oh very nice. Oh, that's good cocoa. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Tasty. And I'll get a cup ready for you, Cap. Uh oh! The launch sequence just activated all by itself. Oh no! I must have got some wires crossed between the hot cocoa machine and the steering system. Shiver me whiskers! If the octopod hits the bottom, the crash will smash it to smithereens. Captain, what do we do? Captain? Don't worry, I've got this. That's usually my line. Open! The after hatch! Ah. Hold on, everyone! Dashing! Activate! Steering wheel! Steady! Steady! What goes down must go. Whoa! Up! Yeah. Ah, that's better. Whoa! Attention, everyone. There's something up here that you just can't miss the Northern Lights. Oh, yes. Oh. 
beautiful. You know, today you cubs proved your courage. We were pretty brave. How brave? Hmm. Brave enough to earn your first Polar Scout badges. Even though we didn't get to hunt on the sea ice? Yes, even though you didn't get to hunt on the sea ice. Mom! Hey, so look. look! Well done, Dad. Congratulations. You know, it's a good thing that you showed up on our ice floor. We wouldn't have made it without you. Well, I didn't do it alone. And with the octopod's help, now we'll be happy to take everyone to the sea ice. Oh, thank you, Captain. You know the sea ice is our true home. Oh, yes. yes that's for sure. What about you, Captain? Where's your true home? When I'm aboard the octopod with all of you, the whole watery world is my home. <laughs> Monkey with a tool belt. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. And got it. <laughs> 